This week in Nerf, we've got transparent parts, tiny flywheel parts, and HPA parts. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Let's talk about these parts. Let's go ahead and start with one of the community focused ones. And this comes to us from Naroda. And this is the little engine that could. It is a, let me get this right, self-contained semi-auto open breech HPA engine. It features a 100 millimeter stroke, which should be long enough for full length and half length darts, which is fantastic for those of you that want to be able to switch back and forth. Maybe you go to various games and you would like to be able to swap between lower power full length and higher powered short length. That is definitely a nice design feature. Now this is something he has been posting. I say he, I making a wild assumption. We'll say they. They've been posting for uh, a little while now, various updates and iterations, trying to tweak this and fine tune it. Now, we don't know when it's gonna be done. This is very much a work in progress, but it is something so cool that I couldn't not share it with all of you because I think it's just really, really interesting. And uh, semi-automatic HPA, something we mentioned last week, this, if it comes to fruition, and if it is uh, reasonable enough to produce, could be very, very cool to have uh, in terms of accessibility and, and openness to the community. Now we have things like the Specs BZ tank, which is a great asset for the HPA community. Uh, having something like this could potentially bring even more people into it, meaning they have less to have to try and figure out if everything is self-contained and they can uh, utilize that asset. So this is something I'm very much gonna be keeping my eye on. Uh, now also with the open breach nature of it, I believe that should make mag changes easier as well. You don't have to uh, prime the blaster to open the breech to seat the magazine or pull the magazine out. You can just pop it in, pop it out, which is a nice touch in the heat of gameplay that I really think is something that could be overlooked in terms of how valuable that is. Now again, we don't know when this is gonna be done, if it's gonna be done. Also don't know what the cost could be. The cost could be monumental on this. We don't know yet. Uh, depends on how refined the design gets and how much can be simplified and all kinds of things that I really don't have expertise on so I can't comment all too well, but something that I think uh, you should be keeping your eye on. If you ever had an interest in HPA stuff and regardless, reading through the comments and, and Everything in these posts is very, very valuable. The, law, the information you can gain and knowledge you can gather is well worthwhile and well worth your time as this is going to continue to be a part of our hobby that emerges uh, to compete with flywheels and standard spring power in terms of what we see on the field. I believe they're aiming for like 150 max PSI for this, but again, nothing is set in stone. Uh, there's going to be a couple links down below to two of the, I can't remember how many posts they've made, but all of them are interesting. So definitely, definitely take a look through these and let them know what you think. And hopefully we'll see at least a working prototype of this in the future because I'm, I'm very curious, very, very curious about this. But let's go ahead and move on. Let's talk about the thing that I really, really wanted to talk about last week, and that is the new worker transparent parts. There are quite a few here. We've got four flywheel cages, uh, two of them canted, two of them not. Both options have a 42.5 and 43.5 millimeter spacing, uh, which gives you a good number of options. Now this is coming hot on the heels of the Aurora cage from OFP, which is a transparent polycarbonate cage. These are the same, just with different options in terms of cant or uh, motor spacing. So. Well, some people are obviously going to be a little frustrated that the worker is jumping on the clear thing. The worker's kind of been doing the transparent thing for a while now, so it's hard to say one way or the other on these, but I'm sure people will have an opinion either way. Those aren't the only things that worker have made in transparent though that's new. They also have two new sets of flywheels that are transparent. Finally, transparent flywheels. People have been making jokes about them for a while and uh, now they exist. They're a thing, they are purchasable, but there are some concerns. People have some very, uh, well, they have concerns, valid, I assume valid concerns, but we'll find that over time as to the durability of these. These are going to be spinning at around 32 to 40 plus thousand RPMs and having contact with various darts. 
and uh, people are concerned that they may be too brittle for those kinds of repeated impacts and use, and they may shatter. So I'm probably not going to pick some of these up. Uh, I don't want to run that risk. Also, since I don't run a ton of open window blasters, I'm not as invested in them. Now, for things like the Dominator and the Swordfish, this could be very, very cool and very interesting uh, if you want to run some LEDs through something. Like, that could be cool to see some LEDs going through the flywheels that they're spinning. It, it could be very cool. Don't be wrong. The appeal for this, I totally understand. I just am hoping that they are durable enough through repeated use that they do stand the test of time. But that's something that time will tell on that. Also, I wish they would have gone with different patterns for the flywheels. They went with the... Uh, one of them is a bit more, a little more concave. It's based off of their metal serrated angled flywheel uh, design, which I'm not the biggest fan of. And they also have one that's just flat, no concavity, and just ridges. Just up and down the entire thing. And that does just not look pleasant to me. Uh, so I'm probably... Another reason, I'm personally probably going to pass on these, but I think, I think we'll see some cool builds with them for the people that do invest in them. So for the aesthetics, thumbs up. For function, We'll see. Uh, who knows? Regardless, definitely some interesting additions from Worker, so I'm sure we'll see those shipping relatively soon. Uh, fingers crossed we'll see them in people's hands in the next couple weeks, but we'll see. Regardless, let me know what you think about those and just transparent products in general for internal functional components. Uh, it's something we see more and more of, well, could see more and more of if these do well. So that's something I love to hear from all of you about. And one more thing to talk about today, and that is an update from Flywheel the World. Uh, they have been working on their conversion kits for a while now, and they've been uh, offering the wheels that they use in their, in their small builds and all of that stuff. The files for the Recon and Retaliator conversion kit are finally available on Thingiverse. They are open source, ready for you to download, to print, to use, to get all that goodness going crammed on inside that nice tiny Springer shell. This is something that I always love talking about because it's just such a cool, clever design that I think it's uh, a fantastic addition to our community and to our hobby as a whole. And I love that these files are available and I hope to see people utilizing them more and more. Now, the wheels are available for purchase. Uh, everything is available. I, I really wanna see these grow and continue to be more and more diverse and find more shells to use and find more uh, ways to have them be utilized because right now it's just the beginning for them. And that to me is always interesting, that inception point that leads to something more and leads to a greater variety. And this is that point, those files becoming uh, open to everyone on Thingiverse. So if you've been waiting, go print one out, go pick up some wheels and uh, turn your old school Springer into something to bring to some super stock games. That is gonna bring us to our mod of the week. This week, it comes to us from Evan Williams of Foam Freaks. This is Impulse. This is... It's just so nice looking. It is a Centurion and Chaos integration. Namely, the most enjoyable aspect of this is that they utilize the Centurion Magwell and it fires Megas utilizing the Chaos pusher belt system. And it just looks so clean. It looks so clean, refined, and well done. And I just love the way this came out. I love that it functions. I, they've got just, it's just nice. Really, like, there's a lot I could say about it. It's just nice. And I, I'm really glad they put it together and they got it finished. This is for Merge Masters, the competition Merge Masters 3, which is going on on Reddit. Uh, it is finalized. The interests all are all in, and voting, I think, should happen sometime soon. So go check those out. I actually, uh, depending on how things go, we may talk more about Merge Masters 3 next week because there are a lot of cool things that people have done, and I would love to talk about more of them. But... Go check out that link down below for Impulse to see the build catalog and how it all came together and how it actually functions in its finished form because it is a nice piece of work. One more thing to talk about today. That is the video of the week. This is one that as soon as it dropped last week after I finished filming, it was a no-brainer. It's something I love to talk about last week. And this is Clowney's 2018 Toy Drive. 
Last year, he did his first toy drive. I believe it was first toy drive, at least. But uh, it was a giveaway contest for anyone that donated a toy to any sort of toy drive charity or anything like that for those that uh, may not be as fortunate and, and would like to be able to give their children uh, the presents they, they would love to for the holiday so everyone can have that that wonderful Christmas morning or whatever holiday you celebrate morning. It just, those moments are so wonderful and I love that Clowney is doing this again. Uh, now, there are prizes for this. They are, uh, Clowney is raffling off an Infinis and several blasters modded by community members like uh, Walcom and Captain X and uh, uh, there's more stuff coming, he said. So definitely, please, please go check this video out. Get involved. I'm going to be sending stuff. I'm excited about this. Uh, to me, the prizes are, that's neat and it's a nice thing to get people interested and involved, but the real part of this is being able to give something to those that uh, may not be able to otherwise. And that's just, if you haven't, please do. It's a wonderful thing to be a part of and I could uh, spend a full video length talking about why it's a wonderful thing, but go watch Clowney's video, go participate, um, go make someone else's holiday season better. And for that, yours will be better. And I can't, I can't overstate that. So please, go do this. Uh, the video, this video is done. I'm gonna put just a link to Clowney's video right here. Nothing else is gonna be on this screen, just that. Please go click on it. Please be a part of it. And please make the holidays better for everyone. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see y'all next time.